While Julia Trubkina from 90 Day Fiancé is a woman with many jobs and talents, she's also the queen of sassy comebacks, as seen since her debut with Brandon Gibbs on season 8. Never one to mince words, Julia, who's made her dislike of the Gibbs Hummingbird Acres farm quite clear, also snaps back at any rude comments on her Instagram posts. Even co-stars Jovi Dufresne and Natalie Mordetseva can't escape her sharp tongue, as TLC fans have noticed on several occasions. With Julia wanting to move out of Ron and Betty's Virginia farmhouse on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 6, she's taken baby steps, in high heels, to find a good job. Julia wasn't exactly the ideal daughter-in-law during 90 Day Fiancé Season 8, but currently, she's letting weird Brandon and his parents know that she's displeased with the American lifestyle. Fans who grew to dislike Julia since she clashed with Yara Zaya on the 90 Day Fiancé tell all over plastic surgery are now wondering if she was a villain from the start. Her recent visit to Russia was seen as an opportunity to get fans speculating about her possible divorce. Also, her post about going to a hospital was labeled a desperate plea for attention. As is now typical, Julia is clapping back at her haters, perhaps in a tongue-in-cheek manner. She defended Brandon's family. The very first time that Julia spoke out against her critics on Instagram was when Brandon's parents Ron and Betty were accused of running a puppy mill, and mistreating dogs while breeding them at their farm. Russian woman Julia, at Julia Trubkina 1993 on IG, defended her in-laws in a long Instagram caption, to close the topic once and for all, so fans don't invent stories. She claimed that the dogs are treated well and, live better than many people. Brandon's parents were also later accused of being, swingers. This drama was laid to rest by Julia, who snapped at a fan. She remarked, the people who wrote this about Brandon's parents, lost their brains. See a recent pic of Julia below. She clapped back when she was called lazy. Later on, fans criticized Julia, calling her lazy for not helping out at the farm and sleeping a lot. The 90 Day Fiancé celeb revealed that she wasn't just a go-go dancer as the show portrayed. She had actually done 15 different jobs in the past. Before their battle over plastic surgery, Yara and Julia had bickered on IG. Jovi's wife felt that she was tired after waking up at 5 a.m. Welcome my life, Julia had posted, with Yara saying, at least I don't need to feed the pigs. Brandon's wife sarcastically replied, don't forget about chicken and sheep and horses and dogs and frogs and snakes and grasshoppers. Julia also butted heads with Rebecca Parrott by alluding that she was lazy to get plastic surgery instead of going to the gym club. She's considered bratty by 90 Day Fiancé fans. Julia's recent snarky comments followed fans calling her thirsty for her Instagram story with an ultrasound machine in Russia. Her response was a bunch of crying laughing emojis. She also shows jealousy when it comes to man-child and mama's boy Brandon. Perhaps Julia getting snippy on social media as a defense mechanism to keep the trolls at bay. She may also be doing it to show how unbothered she is by the negative comments. She does appear to ridicule her cast members in a joking way. Her co-stars seem to know this and play along with it to keep fans entertained. While being called lazy, Rebecca's reply to Julia was, You are so adorable, even when you're telling me I'm lazy, followed by, I was just playing around.
We love you and Brandon. However, as Yara from Ukraine once explained, her own rude behavior on 90 Day Fiancé was due to her Russian sense of humor, Julia's sense of humor may be just the same. Another possibility is that Julia's jokes often get lost in translation, making them seem rude and uncalled for.